Welcome, Internet, to another Arfcom review. <laughs> review, <laughs> review, review. Bing to link. <laughs> Today, we're going to be covering the Holosun SERS MRS. Yeah. For the naming convention. I got that right on the first swing. Boom. Um, but it, before our uh, review of this optic, <laughs> we're going to get a word from our sponsors. See you at nighttime. Nighttime seeing is important. Don't you want to see things? Seeing things is better. What's wrong with you you don't want to see things? Do you have a seat? New for 2023 is the Springfield Echelon. The striker fired polymer frame pistol features Springfield's new variable interface system for mounting multiple optic footprints and the serialized cog fire control for inserting into multiple frames. Find out more at springfield-armory.com. Uh, so as part of our uh, post-SHOT Show 2023 uh, coverage, uh, I happened to see this. I got to see this in the uh, booth itself, and now it's here in the ARFCOM studio. And we get to give you guys a review on this uh, SCRS RDMRS. Uh, no, no, no. So you have there's multiple variants. Yeah. The, there's the RD2. Yeah. Which is just the two MOA dot. Just the two dot. And then the MRS, which I'm assuming stands for multiple reticles yeah. system or yeah. site, has the uh, two dot MOA, two MOA dot, as well as the 65 MOA circle. You can have either the circle, the dot, or both together. Yeah. And uh, this does come uh, given the SCRS. It's the SCS, but with rifle thrown in there. So this is a uh, solar charging red dot. Uh, a capable of system thing. <laughs> the naming MRS. convention in the comment Party. section below. You can go and correct me, and I'll likely ignore it. Uh, but it's pretty cool. Uh, we got to do, we've already done the SCS. Uh, we did that on uh, one of our 320s, uh, and it was pretty cool. I, actually, this is a round SCS. Yes. This is <laughs> yeah, a there round you go. There SCS, you go. yeah. Uh, I do think the reticle is crisper on this. Uh, ours does have the multi-reticle system. Crisper? And, uh, it's cr not crisper. No. <laughs> it's getting dangerous. <laughs> it's a 65 MOA ring with a 2 MOA dot in the center. Uh, and it was crisper. So if folks aren't familiar, because they didn't watch our previous video, SCS, solar mm -hmm. charging site, yeah. right? Uh, so it has a little solar panel here. And this doesn't require batteries because it has an internal battery. So this this will charge it over time. Uh, it's one of those situations where, yeah, if you set this in a dark box for 50,000 hours, it'll die. you could pick it up. Yeah, but it, it should still turn work. It'll right back yeah. on. I imagine it's probably going to last you years to the point where you're already going to be buying that new optic to replace this. And and for this, I, I think this is actually sits in a really competitive place. It's a really small, dedicated for rifle optic, which is what I liked about this. The, really, the only other things in this um, category, we have the Trigicon RMO here, uh, and MRO. then we have the, or the MRO, and then we have the Aimpoint uh, Duty RDS. Um, and these are already footprint-wise and weight-wise heavier. This guy's what, two... 2.45 ounces, but I don't know if that's. I don't with, know if that includes the mount. We didn't have a scale in studio. Um, it, it's pretty light. I mean, it's, it is. It's, a pretty, it's tiny. You can pick I mean, them up, and it's super light. Um, I do like that, especially for uh, PCCs or for PDWs or whatever naming convention you want. This is smaller, personal, carryable, carryable arms. Uh, weight does matter, um, and this gives you rifle red dot sight capability on a much smaller and also a pretty reasonably priced. This is this is. Hyper competitively priced. This is, uh, I think, three seventeen MSRP, and we found them for two seventy. This so specific the, the model. The two different models, yeah. And if you went with just the red dot, uh, just the two MOA dot model, I think it's two seventy MSRP. And yeah. I saw it online for two thirty. Now I don't think that there's a lot of them out there. I'm not yeah. sure how many folks are carrying it by at this time as of recording, but you probably start seeing them pop up quite regularly. Um, they designed this to get the SCS. Uh, technology in a red dot specific optic, and you'll kind of see it when you'll you'll notice. Uh, and SCS being a solar charging site. Yes, um, the SCS was designed to fit on a pistol, so your hydro bore is going to be a lot less. This is designed for a rifle, so they put all the bitness on the bottom end of this. Uh, we did compare these. The footprint on this is smaller than an acro. So what I like and what I think is cool about that. Shotguns, where you start to see a lot of red dots on. Uh, I think PDWs, where you're starting to see a lot of red dots on. I will make the um, caveat: while it does have a smaller footprint than the Acro, it does sit a bit higher, taller than. Well, that's the what Acro. I mean. I think this is going to fit on PDW shotguns and all that stuff better. Yeah. But pistols, like if you want an enclosed emitter, a they have the SCS for it, but you also have the Acro and the EPS carry uh, and the EPS carry. Uh, but uh, it is. I mean, it's a pretty appreciably they're comparable in size but the window on this is bigger but this is also taller 
So like it's comparable in size left to right, but not up and down. Up and down, this thing's like way taller. It's like a good inch or half an inch taller. And what I like about this over uh, legacy Holosun optics is because you don't have a battery tray. It was the one thing that no matter how expensive of a Holosun you'd buy, that was like the universal complaint was the battery tray and how and it's just it's a really tiny screw. And there's no way you're spending enough money on that screw to make it good, just based on how small yeah. the thread has to be or whatever. This has none of those issues. Your IPX rating is probably a lot more reliable on this. Um, just in general, this is probably a more buttoned up optic yeah. for that. And so I think uh, for harder use, this will probably do a lot better than some of the legacy stuff. And because you're not really worried about the battery, this sits as really cool. We kind of discussed this as like a piggyback red dot or an offset red dot for if you have like an LVPO or something like that. This is a pretty cool LPVO. If they've been around oh. long enough. They'll know. I have dyslexia. Um, but the, uh, e dyslexia. Either way, I do think, yeah, my dyslexia. I do think that this serves a pretty cool purpose there. Um, and I will say that uh, it is incredibly small and incredibly light. Uh, this does have a 2 MOA dot and was it 60? 65 MOA 65 circle, MOA, MOA circle. dot. So that, that, that's where I was getting at with the RD versus the MRS. The yeah. RD MRS has multiple reticles. So you have the two MOA dot, 65 MOA circle. You yeah. can use them both together or independently. Then there's a cheaper model, the RD, which just has the two MOA dot, yeah. which honestly, that's where I don't use the circle. I don't really see that as a yeah. benefit. Yeah. Then again, with the shotgun, maybe oh, you want dot, the circle sure. dot, right? Well, yeah, well, and like something like a, if it's like a piggyback mount, like you're really only using that to like index or like do like close up stuff. So it's like if you're using a dot or like a circle dot to like actually range something like yeah. then that starts to make sense. But for the price of like, hey, $230 and you have a piggyback mount that's like relatively pretty small. Oh, yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, the uh, MOA click adjustments, this is one MOA click adjustments, correct? Yes. Um, oh, yeah. And then it's got 50 MOA of adjustability, which is more useful than you think, uh, especially when you're talking about uh, PDWs or PCCs. Your hide over bore is like Egypt tall a lot of this stuff. <laughs> it comes with a pretty tall mount already. And so being able to actually kind of get towards the bottom end so that your hide over bore is there. And on a PCC, it's so much closer you're going to be dialing down that optic a lot more than you think you would. That is good. Uh, glass clarity was good. I think for the price point, it's excellent, but we compared it. We had a really cool shot where we compared it kind of across the board. To You'd be surprised with the smokes on glass clarity uh, and on tint and stuff like that. But um, it's, it's pretty comparable to other, like, Hollow Sun products. Yeah. If you have a Hollow Sun, you know, to, you know what to expect. Yeah, it was really crisp uh, uh, reticle, uh, both mm -hmm. this and the dot. Uh, I we, we saw that in the 507 comp, and I was really impressed with that. This was nicer than the... Uh, SCS that I saw on the pistol and I don't know if that was unit specific or just because this is such a bigger housing they can do more with that but this was just as satisfying as the 507 comp was in clarity as far as the reticle and when you have that much going on in one it matters because it can become right. incredibly distracting uh, but I thought I, I think this is a win I think at the price point this guy's MSRP is 317 I think we're seeing it street price at like 270 and then just the regular um, RS RD or yeah. RD, red which is dot. just the red dot version yeah. of it. Um, that is going to be, I think, as low as two thirty. Yeah, was it? I think yeah. MSRP was two seventy, and then is around two thirty. Um, and of course, if you get the green, it's going to be marginally a little bit more. But sure. But uh, I think this is a win. I think it's going to fit a lot of niches, and I think a lot of people, if you can find them in stock, likely will end up slapping these things on a lot of their newer builds. If you happen to have one and see this down later. Put a comment on how it did and how it's holding up. If you dropped it or whatever, or actually using it, or if it died on you, let us know. And how long did you have it before it died? That's good uh, information. If you want more information like that, you can actually go check it out on the forums at ar15.com. If you Google that, we will show up, and we do have a search feature. We, we have just pretty say, decent SEO. Yeah, yeah so uh, go check that stuff out. Uh, how else can they find us slash support us? Well, of course, right off the bat. There's a little red button there that says subscribe or something like that. I don't I don't read well, but subscribe. Subscribe to the <laughs> channel. That way you can see upcoming content. Uh support our sponsors because without them we couldn't make this video. And follow us on the socials as well. AR15 just drop the dot C O M A R15 com on all the socials. Yeah. Also, we have a Discord, so please feel free to uh, check that out and diddly do. Uh we will be on there. So if you wish to uh, talk to us, bully us, uh, tell us that you hate us. Um <laughs> that's the place to do it. We will actually see 
get there. Uh, I'll be looking for these uh, on our deals page. When we drop in that stuff, you can subscribe to our newsletters. We share deals and current events on those. That definitely gets a lot spicier than any other place on the internet will let us get. So if you want to participate on that, go check us out there. And then uh, until next time, we'll see you guys then. And uh, enjoy uh, happy shooting, I guess. <laughs> Dude, one eye is like significantly bluer than the other. <laughs>